Generic greetings and welcome to Command and Conquer. Today's beverage is a very energising Mountain Dew, chosen because the bottle is the same colour as the Westwood logo and indeed the Tiberium, which is the resources that you mine in the game. This is an RTS game, one of the very first, in fact, that I don't think requires much introduction. I would put forward to you that since this game has been around since 1995, the series has spanned multiple decades, has sold millions upon millions of units across many different titles and settings, there being the Tiberium setting, which is what this is, the Red Alert setting, the General series, and also Renegade. Actually, I think Renegades was Tiberium, but either way, the game is the game and series is so prolific that I don't think it requires much introduction. And I would say that if you don't know what the series is, then you are probably in the minority. Saying that, however, due diligence must be done. Essentially, this is an RTS game, not the very first. I think that title goes to June two. That's what most people would look at and recognize now as an RTS. However, this is certainly the game that cemented the genre and brought in loads of unique things like full motion video and all of that sort of thing. It is the very first Command & Conquer game and certainly the first that I ever played. However, I didn't own it until years later. I played it quite a bit at a friend's house and never completed it and then I managed to pick it up years later as a big box copy with the game and the expansions in and really enjoyed it. Never, I never owned but did play Red Alert. And then the very first sort of Tiberian, uh, sorry, the very first Command and Conquer game that I got into would be Tiberian Sun. And that's where I really sort of had a love for the series then. And then picked up Firestorm, which is the expansion. And then finally into Red Alert 2, which is still my most played and probably favourite of all of the Command and Conquer games. Either way, I digress, going back to this game. Now, picking this up and trying it again because. Depending on when you're watching this, the remaster is upcoming or out if you're watching this months after the video is released. But basically, they're doing a full remaster of Command & Conquer and the original Red Alert, which is 4K remaster, upgraded sound, visuals, gameplay, and working multiplayer, and all that sort of thing. So I thought it would be a good thing to look back at the original and put on those rose tinted goggles, because I haven't played this in over 20 years. So I thought it would be quite an interesting thing. I don't remember much about the game. Certainly, the controls uh, elude me. I'm going to probably guess that I'm... I'm probably going to I'm going to guess that there's a lot of stuff that I probably thought was in the game that isn't and the only thing I can really remember is that the very first mission for the GDI side is you start off on like a landing craft type thing and then you sort of go around and just shoot some blokes and then that's pretty much it this very basic building well that's pretty much it but let's just jump in and see what it's like and I'll share some stories and reminisce and all of that sort of thing and hopefully it'll be quite interesting obviously this is just the standard version that you can pick up in this case on Origin so it is obviously scaled and skewed wrong not remastered there's already some artifacting on the menu and stuff so just obviously please bear that in mind so let's go to start new game and we've got either uh, global defense initiative or the brotherhood of nod so we're going to go over to global, global defense initiative defense and we will watch some full motion video hopefully won't get the video copyright claimed but there you are are you picking this up yes good mm. i know you need more deep background but we're up against it nod forces have fortified this beachhead at x16y42 Intelligence right. is still coming in, so we can't tell you a lot. Great. We found a chink in their armor. Commander Carter can sneak you and some backup forces on shore right here. You may get some artillery support from his gunboats, but this is mostly grunt work. Your mission is simple. Knock out all fortifications. Eliminate all Nod troops. And establish a beachhead by building your base. Good luck. Turn up and kill. Got ya. Okay, so landing craft. Jet engines, even though it's duct fans. But there you go. Cool. So we're heading towards the beach and we will land and then. Ah, oh, we have a destroyer and our units there as well. So the destroyer is going and shooting these defensive turrets. Can we click and drag? We can click and drag to select units. And I'll say fire. No. Fire. No. Ah, oh, it's left click. So left click to select, left click to issue orders, right click to drop your orders right see already i thought it was the other way around i thought it was left click to select right click to issue orders but like i think that's that's the that's a convention these days but i'm guessing not back uh, here obviously we've got options money and then your sidebar for building and that sort of thing but we can't do that at the moment you can see the boat is going from the left to the right and it's turning back around so what i'm going to do is I'm not going to go towards these cannons because, quite frankly, they're probably going to absolutely slaughter my units. So instead, what I'll do is I'll use these to scout about and let the boat do most of the heavy lifting there. And we've just got to, looks like be a sort of Humvee there. What we should also do is deploy our MCV, Mobile Command Vehicle, is it? Is it MCV? I can't remember the name of it. Either way, that's now been deployed, but I can't... Oh, there we go. Ah, I was wondering why the screen wouldn't move. Now, I'm using WSND, I, I didn't think would work, and it doesn't. And arrow keys don't work either, so 
we have to go to the edge of the screen. Let's build a power plant, and we will go up and scout around. We also have these, I'm guessing the Humvees or something like that, but they're going to go over there. They've got like a machine gun on the top. So you can see we do have fog of war in the game, so that is something that is there. And oh, I guess we can't, can we not build, do we have to build adjacent? Yeah. Looks like you have to build directly adjacent. I don't know if that is the case or not, or just a quirk of where I'm trying to build, but there you go. So you can see the boat is going to come along. It is under half health, but we are going to issue a command to shoot. Oh, we can't issue a command to shoot that. Oh, it looks like we've got some forces coming in here, but we are taking care of business. We also have a barracks, which I can place there, and we can build some mini gunners. Uh, one thing that is just as good as I remember is the music. <laughs> that is something that I didn't think would disappoint, but certainly looking forward to the, the remastering of that. So I'm building some minigun units. What is surprising is you can't stack up... Oh, that's bad. That's a... Looks to be like some sort of... What's that? It was like a scout car or something, but I've managed to take that out. You can't... You can't... Yeah. Unable to comply building in progress. So you can only build... You can only build one unit at a time. Which is something I I thought you could stack it up. Hmm. You can also, I guess. Oh, you can, can you set rally points? I'm gonna guess no. No, you can't set up rally points. Fair enough. Yeah. I mean, this game is the very first, and I would say is it does have its own theme. But when I think of Command and Conquer, and certainly the Tiberium setting, I think I think Tiberium Sun because there was so many like quirks and differences that this one is sort of like generic military type thing where, with some other quirks later on um but yeah oh mission accomplished so i guess it was just to take out those forces that was a quite an easy one and that's a nice butterfly on a on a shrubbery and i'm guessing my yeah that, that that's that's oh yeah crushing the wildlife this is going to be where we see the deployment of the command center is that right yeah opens up and packs up and goes down and that's a lot of concrete <laughs> and there's our crane cool and I'm sure some of the sounds on that I remember from playing Total Annihilation but there, get the air conditioning on and make sure we get all of our engineers in I guess you, I wonder if you can do that in the game send engineer to another person's command center and take over that leadership 100% I don't know what that means uh, maybe just shouting at them efficiency 40% yeah, and total score 182 so casualties GDI non and nod 11 and there's a couple of scores there for some reason but I haven't played it so don't know anyway ending credits 802 because we didn't spend any more but you can harvest them with a Tiberium Harvester. So we are looking at Europe. GDI progression is Italy, France, Germany, yeah, and Netherlands and such. And then we've got, ah, so we've got Nod Force over there as well. So we have to select a territory to attack. So we're going to select over there, which is Estonia, population 1.6 million, geography area 17 square a uh, scripting thousand square miles and let's click to continue and Good job with the beachhead commander no problem time to bring you up to speed on nod so you know what you're dealing with got you this is kane. and that's kane yes self-appointed leader of the brotherhood of nod and also i believe the director of all the fmvs stand by i'll link us up condition critical no why not had this beach bottled up they're protecting the big tiberium refinery that intelligence somehow missed Ooh. We need backup now. Not troops are pouring out of their base, strangling our foothold. We gotta knock out that refinery, eliminate all nod forces before we lose our position. I don't know how long we can hold out. You heard I guess that's our next mission then. Whoa! Okay. Um so immediately <laughs> drop in at the deep end. And yeah. So We've lost our power plant. There was a power plant there. And we've only got, at this stage, a very, very damaged. Can repair it though. Very, very damaged barracks. Ah, but reinforcements have arrived, which is an engineer. Ah, right. So this might be where we're going to have to go and take their base. I think, 
I think I remember that rightly. I think there is a base that we can take. Oh, let's just keep scouting around first, though. I'm gonna try. I'm trying to build more minigunners, but the minigunners do take a little while to do take a little while to build because we're repairing, repairing this. You see, I'm just scouting around here. I know there's there's our MCV, so that's fine. So we can get that in there. And what's that? Can they? That's, I think they said deploy into it or something. Anyway, I'm just checking on the right hand side, just make sure nothing can sneak around on that side, because that would be quite embarrassing if that would be the case. So let's move this further in and we'll deploy that. And then we need to make another building. And oh, pull back, pull back. That's a far too many forces there. And let's go over here. Obviously, a lot of the things that we've seen in previous games, like um, issuing group orders, issuing rally points, having st deployable stuff like. Um, Oh, we do have deployable stuff, but things like the Red Alert 2 guys that you can deploy and that sort of thing. And also going into buildings. And I don't know if there's I don't know if there's a big naval presence in the game. But either way, let's just continue building our minigunners and we now should be able to hopefully take on whatever we need to. This is I'm guessing maybe a mini map once we get a radar, but am I just misremembering that? And oh, that's a harvester. That's a, why is there a harvester coming over here? Not that I care too much because a harvester is totally unarmed. Uh, so you can see the problem with trying to move some units over to another position sometimes. You accidentally click on something else and yeah. And units don't automatically swarm in to take them out. It's all, it's all manual. There we go. So just taking more... Ooh, pathfinding. Oh, come on. <laughs> uh, taking more ground here, and I'm seeing some sandbags at the top there. I think we're probably going to lose some of these vehicles and some of these troops, but I guess, you know, needs must and all that. Keep going up there. We can see how far the map goes, so I'm expecting to see some some stuff around here. Now, we did see... Ah, there we go. There is a refinery and a base. So what I'm going to do is come down the bottom here and... Tell him to go up there. No, thing get lost. All these guys come up to here. I'm going to see if I can take out these and well capture them actually. And that's going to be a problem if they come on. There we go. If they swarm around, because I don't want them to shoot the engineers because the engineers are unarmed. So there we go taking them out. Thing get lost. There we go. So engineer, yes you can. So I'm going to put it in the harvester, put it in the central bit there, and then put that in there. So that should, hopefully, give us a little bit of an advantage. Oh, they're completely surrounding this thing, so nicking it <laughs> has um, helped out. Not building captures, so we can build a refinery in a silo. Cool. Right, uh, let's continue going along here. Take out these units. Oh, uh, I guess the problem is I've lost... I'm probably going to lose that because they've got pick troops that are shooting at it. There's also refineries up there, but I can't can't do anything about them at the moment. Unit lost. Unit lost. Yes, yes. So taking out all the force around here. We've got that in repair. So just dealing with the rest of this. We've got good power. And there's more troops swarming in from the side. I don't know if they're getting built there or whether or not it's just a case of the... Uh, like, oh yeah, look at all them. Look at all the forces there. How'd they get down there, and why haven't they shot me? We also built a Hand of Nod, which is... Hand of Nod is the, their their yeah. barracks, basically. Construction complete. Let's put it over here. New construction. Oh, we can build Engineer. And Minigunners. And... Oh, where are they going to come from? So they come from the latest one that you build. I just... I did more. <laughs> right, so... Beachhead established. Still these bits over here, but we should be okay now. We don't have harvester, which is the main problem. <laughs> I don't think we can build another harvester. Hang on. No, we can't go down. We can go up and build the barracks, but we can't select the barracks. Okay. So let's clear out these troops on the left-hand side because at the moment, as we've seen, sort of swarming around. I'm going to build a couple of engineers as well. Get the engineers over to these silos and take that because that'll give us some more money. So, there's them gone, there's them gone. They're just sort of patrolling by the look of it over there. So, you into that. Another engineer. And then we're going to come there. You see, yeah, it looks like they're on some sort of patrol route. 
but we need to know what's on the left-hand side. There must be some Tiberium resources over here because we saw that harvest move over there. Not building captured, yes, good. And go there, and is it down here? No, it doesn't look to be so. Although, you never know. Let's clear that out. So there we go. Not building captured, so we've got loads of money now. And we should be able to swarm around there. And this one's coming from down there? Are they coming from down there? I don't really know. I'm trying to clear them all out, but it's just finding them. So I guess over on the left-hand side, we'll have a look over there. Continue building more minigunners. Later on, obviously, you do get uh, vehicles. You get different uh, tanks and that sort of thing. And, oh, and here's our harvester, I believe. There you go. And reinforcements have arrived. In the f yeah, in the form of some sort of Humvee thing. There you go. And can they squish units in this game? Yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> fine, okay. At least we, we now know. And there you go. So that just that's destroyed, and you get a civilian there, I think. So we don't wanna don't be shooting those. Although is that an engineer? I'm not too sure. Yeah, we're gonna have to take out the forces here because there's quite a lot of shooting away there. And where's he running to? Is he just running away? I think he's just generally running away. Oh no, he's actually firing. Okay, well that was that was gonna be. I thought that was a neutral thing, but no, they they see the were they shooting? I don't know what they're doing. Well, I didn't issue the order on that, but um, there you go. That was that was taken out. Yeah, later on you get um, obviously loads more buildings and uh, well, I think do you get flyers? Generally, is a hole in my knowledge there. Possibly, possibly, and you know you have mine stuff and build. And you got more of the RTS elements in there. Either way, first two missions of the game remembered more than I thought I would. I actually thought that that mission we've done there was the very was was part of the first. I thought the very first mission, you land on the beach and then you go forward and then nick all of those other units at the top. So, yeah, misremembered it, but I'm glad I came back to check it out. Interesting. It shows some of our ratings there and top scores. Yeah. Either way, I think. I've seen all I really need to see. It's been a bit of Command and Conquer. I want to play this again, but I'm not going to be playing it on this version. I'll wait until the remaster comes out because it's just infinitely more playable and, you know, just up to date. Unless it isn't. It isn't out yet at the time recording, so I really don't know. But I, it, it could look back and check out the original Genesis, etc. It's interesting that some of the features that I thought were in the game are not. But, uh,. Yeah, either way, that's the first. Red Alert 2 is still better. <laughs> it's my favourite, I'd say. I have a soft spot for that one. But um, also really like Tiberian Sun. Quite a dark game, as I was talking about. I was talking to my friend the other day, and we were on about it, and said, like, a dark game. Not just tonally, but also just physically. It's quite hard to see at times. But yeah, either way, that's been a bit of Commander Kong. I'll put links in the description, as always. But uh, yeah, hope you've enjoyed this little look at it. I may jump in and check out the Red Alert, uh, the very first Red Alert game. And I will do generals at some point as well. But Red Alert, I actually spent more time in the map editor making maps for that game that I did actually playing it and uh, modding as well and you could like you know because it was just text files I believe you could just edit different things and you know alter it so that one tank would like blow up like half the map or whatever <laughs> so yeah either way I hope you've had, enjoyed this little bit of uh, Command and Conquer this sort of trip down memory lane rose tinted goggles on and all of that <laughs> hope you have enjoyed it thanks very much for watching take care and generic partings